For more reaction to the sad and shocking news of Speed's death, we can speak now to his former Leeds United teammate and one of his dearest, dearest friends, Gary McAllister, is live with us this afternoon on Sky Sports News. Gary, good afternoon to you. How are you doing, Jim? How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. You, you were with Gary Speed, Gary, for a live television interview on Saturday. Where, what was your reaction, Gary, to what you heard later on? Well, Jim, when I got the phone call the following morning, it was, it was Alan Shearer that broke the news to me early, just after, maybe just after 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and the, the news just turned me to jelly. I, I, I couldn't believe what he was saying, and obviously it's not something that anybody would joke about. It wasn't a hoax call or anything, but it just it shook me to the, to the bones. I was, I was in shock for most of the day. I then obviously had to try and get a hold of Gordon and Howard Wilkinson, you know, obviously the manager and his, his other teammate at Leeds, and to let them know before the news broke to the, to the, to the, to the media. And so I just couldn't believe it. But, you know, being with them that day, well, effectively that day, uh, shooting the, uh, at Football Focus, 20 minutes before we went on air, he was, he was a normal Gary Speed to me. He's just a guy that, that, I, that I'd known for a long, long time. He was, he was very excited about the prospects of his, of his Welsh national team. There's some good experienced players and and the emergence of all the, the cracking young players that he's got. Uh, he was talking about the, you know, the, the negotiating for the, for the Euros, you know, and, 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 amongst, and, and amongst that was, the, was Craig Levine and the Scottish delegates. So he was upbeat. He was, he was, he was Gary, Gary Speed. He was, he was looking class. He was immaculately presented as he normally is. He's a, he's a movie star in my eyes, you know. And, uh, and then, the, then afterwards, again, uh, Alan Shearer was there preparing for his match of the day in the evening with 20 minutes. They were discussing uh, some, some black tie charity events that they were, they were going to be going to in the, in the near future. And he just, you know, there was no, I couldn't see anything in, in Gary that suggests that he was depressed or, 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 or feeling anxiety. You know, I just couldn't have sensed, it was just, it was just, it was just the Gary speed that I know. So, so, Gary, while you clearly find it all puzzling, uh, so, so too must those today who, who are really closest to him. And as I understand it, Gary, you, you've been speaking to Gary Speed's dad, Roger. Uh, can you tell us anything about that conversation? No, Jim, you know, I'm, I'm very much aware of it. This time, it's the, 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 the family I've got to... They need space. They need, they need, they need their, their own private grieving. But... It was just a case of, of trying to get Roger quickly just to say that, you know, everybody, you know, I'm back in Yorkshire here, so everybody at Leeds United is thinking about him and the family and our, our wishes do go to, the, to Louise and the two boys. And it was just, that was all it was. It was, a, it was just a case of, you know, not, not getting into great, any great detail, but just to say that the support from this part of the, the country is, is obviously here. Is, and anything he needs, we're here for him. Gary, presumably, when, when you left Gary's speed on Saturday, like all good close friends do, you'd say, OK, well, let's see each other again soon. Did you do just that? Uh, of course, that's the, that's the way, you know, and, and, and obviously when you say that sometimes, Jim, you know what it's like, we've both got different paths in our careers now, and, and sometimes you, you, you don't see each other for maybe five or six months. And, but, you know, when, you, when, you've, you know when, you've, when you've won something with somebody, you know, and we were part of that team that won the, won the old first division, there's a unique bond and a special sort of camaraderie there. And, you, and, and if you don't see each other for six months or a year, it, it only takes a matter of 30 seconds and, and the crack and the banter comes flowing back and purely because you've, you've been together and, and, and he's looked after my back when, when I've been having a, a poor game and, and vice versa. So it's, we, we left it at that and, and, and he was, he's got no competitive games or friendlies till, till February and we're talking about getting some golf organised. But then, then the shattering news just comes in and... <laughs> It's just, I'm still, I'm still very much in shock and we had, had some friends over last night who are, nothing to do with football, just friends of Gary, mutual friends that we've got here in, in Yorkshire, guys who have got closed shops and, and some charter surveyors and lawyers and stuff like that and, and it was just there, there. Everybody's just hit so hard by this and I think it just shows you how popular and much loved this guy was. It's not just a case of people want to say, he's, this guy reached everybody. He's just a proper, proper man. So, so Gary, it, it, it obviously puzzles you, and it puzzles many people today. That, as far as you're concerned, Gary, mm. having seen him 
just 48 hours ago. Does it niggle you this Monday afternoon in, 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 any, in any way oh, that yeah, you didn't course, see anything I, I, in I Gary's guess, makeup? Yeah, yeah. No, that, that, that's the thing that's, yeah, I'm just sort of, th at the end, but you know, the, I've since spoke to the, the people that were in and around him then as well. There was no signs, Jim. There was, you could, none, nothing would suggest that he was troubled or any, and I've said it before, any anxiety in his voice. He just was, he was Gary. He was what I know him. He's just a, just that fresh faced. He, he looked, he looked well. You know, he's, 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 he, things are going well for him at the moment. The, the Welsh national team are playing some fantastic football. His philosophy is getting through to the players and, but there was nothing, Jim. I couldn't have, I could never have thought that 10, 12 hours from when I saw him and then getting the news that, that, that I just still, I still can't believe that it's happening. I still, I still think it's a, a nightmare. And of course, Gary, he came onto the football scene at, at such a young age. When I think of that championship winning Leeds team, I think, I think of yourself and Strachan and Batty and Speed. And he was a real team player, wasn't he? Well, I, I, got, I got up to Ellen Road in 1990 and Gary, you know, who he, I think just, I've just been hearing that him, David Batty and Simon signed all at the same time. It was Eddie Gray who signed them. But that was the thing. Those were the three players, the three youngsters that were closest to the first team. And he was just this... I'd heard of David Batty and played against David Batty, but Gary was just emerging as I was arriving. And he was just that fresh-faced, you know, enthusiastic, you know, first on the training ground, last off it. Just a lover of the game, you know, and, and bought into the Howard Wilkinson way, bought into the, what Gordon Strack and the, our elder statesman and the team brought to the club and brought to the team and always willing to listen and, and, and improve and get better. And, he, and someday, you know, I've, I've seen Gary Speed play with ankles the size of my knees, you know, that was such a desire to, to play for his club that he, that, he, that he grew up with. I know he was an Everton fan, but he was an, a, a young apprentice at Leeds and his desire and hunger to play that it was, he was, I think it was an ever present the year we won the, we won the league. And it was just a privilege to, to know this guy and, 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 and play beside him. It, it, it's, it's interesting listening to you guys reflecting on those times, but it, it's also tough, isn't it? Because they're probably still very vivid, and e even more vivid today in the light of what has happened. And it must be tough for the ah, likes yeah. of Gordon Strachan yeah. and Howard Wilkinson reflecting on it today. Oh, yeah. No, oh, absolutely. I spoke, to, I spoke to the pair of them. They are, they are broken. Gordon was the guy that sort of took these guys under his wing. You know, when he, Gordon had got to Leeds United before me, obviously, and he'd taken... Batty and Speed under his wing and they, 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 they were now seeing how to live the life of a professional footballer and, and look at the careers that they, both of them had. And, it's, they, it's, and Howard, Howard's, he, he, he couldn't believe, you know, when, when, the, when the news broke either. It's, you can imagine somebody who's been like a father figure, looked after, you know, taking the responsibility of looking after Gary when he left, left his home in Wales. It was, it was Howard's responsibility to, to look at his job, to look after a young apprentice and, and mould him into the, the, the man that he was. Gary, just, just a final one. How are you going to remember your friend Gary Speed? Oh, Gary to me, you know, the, you know, watching all the tributes and, and watching all his Welsh, Leeds, Newcastle, Bolton, Sheffield, all his colleagues, you know, he's, he's just the guy that we all love. And it's not, as, not necessarily just as a footballer, which he was a fantastic player and, and the number of games that he played, but just a good friend. Gary, Gary, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Cheers. Cheers, Jim. Such very difficult uh, circumstances to speak to uh, Gary McAllister and of course uh, we're going to continue to uh, have tributes throughout the day to the late world manager Gary Speed. Well, just hours before the tragic events of the weekend unfolded, Gary was live on television with his former Leeds teammate, Gary McAllister. He looked relaxed and there wasn't a hint of what was to follow. Well, a short time ago, I spoke to Gary McAllister from near his home in Harrogate and started by asking him if it's sunk in yet. Well, the reaction is still, you know, of disbelief. I still quite can't fathom, you know, that, that Gary's left us. It's still very raw. Uh, when I received the call on, on Sunday morning from Alan Shearer you know, to let me know that, that, that there'd been a, a disaster as far as I'm con concerned, it still, it still hurts, it still, it's, it's not nice. Um, it just shook me and my whole body was in, like jelly.
and like like everybody who came across Gary in their football and life, you know, we're, we we love the guy. You know, he's he's somebody who we we've grown to admire, and you know, he's he's, he's progressed up 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 the football ladder, isn't he? From coaching up to to managing his countries, things are looking fantastically well for the for the national team there. So it's just a it's just a very very sad sad occasion. Certainly is, and you were with Gary on Football Focus on Saturday lunchtime. How did he appear to you? Was he stressed? Was there anything about him that struck you as strange? Well, it's, as I say, you know, Gary, you know, from the, from the first time I met him, you know, he had he, 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 the looks of a film star and he was his usual self. He was presented the way he normally is. He's, he likes his clothes and he was, he was smart. He was upbeat. You know, that, was, that, was, that was the big thing, you know, and he, and he went and did a little bit of extra stuff with Dan Walker at the BBC after the show and we were in the in the green room and, and Alan Shearer who was preparing for match of the day in the evening he, they were arranging some charity functions and he, there was no sign of any anxiety or or any sign of depression or, or Gary being down he was just his usual self he was he was upbeat positive so even even a couple of days later now I'm, I'm still finding it hard to believe that that he's no longer with us I think we all are. Take us back, if you would, to the first time you met a very young Gary Speed at Leeds. Well, it was just again, you know, the the, the, the three youngsters when I joined, you know, were the three youngsters that were closest to the first team were, were, were himself, David Batty, and, and and now the manager Simon. They, they, I think they all signed at the same time as 14, 15 year old boys, and 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 those those were the three that were impressing. And, and Gary and David played most of the games when, during my period there and it was just a privilege to play alongside him. He was young, fresh-faced, enthusiastic, you know, and, and scored some fantastic goals for the club and 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 we were lucky enough to, to play in a team that won the league, which doesn't get any better. So it's I think that's the thing that hurts more when you when you when you win something with, with a group of guys and you, there's a different sort of camaraderie, a different sort of bond and even though your careers take different paths you still have that respect for each other and it was always nice to be in the company of Gary. I think that's come across for so many people because of the many tributes that have been to him. Oh, I, I think you, you've seen all the attributes, uh, all the, all the contrib contributions from, from colleagues and people that have just crossed past him. You know, he's, 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 he's a good friend who's, who's, who's gone, you know, and, that, and, and, and I'll dearly miss him. As will many. Gary, thanks for joining us this evening.